Alright, well, welcome back. We're headed over to see Ms. Sunny Smiles in this uh, installment and see what she can teach us about this harsh wasteland that we live in. Not quite good enough for that yet. Cool. Act like nothing happened. Cheyenne, stay. Don't worry. She won't bite unless I tell her to. Sure can. Take the road southeast out of town till it hits the freeway. Prim is the town with a roller coaster straight south. Can't miss it. NCR roller patrols coaster. do a good job of keeping the highway clear. But I'd keep your gun where you can reach it easily. You never know who you'll run into. Off the road, you'll probably start running into hostile wildlife. My advice would be to stick to the highway when you can. The roller coaster sounds like fun. I hunt geckos mostly. The meat's pretty good and I can always find a buyer for the hides. I also help keep the town clear of rad scorpions and coyotes. Not many people live in good springs, so wildlife is always creeping in. Sure, what do you want to know? Southeast of here is Prim. Can't miss it. Since it has the giant old roller coaster right in the middle of town. The NCR's got an outpost there. If you follow the road north, you'll eventually hit Sloan and Quarry Junction. They mine rocks or something, but I heard they got troubles lately. I wouldn't head that direction if I were you, though. Got critters up there that don't take kindly to getting shot. The new California Republic. Bunch of settlers and soldiers coming in from the west, fixing on making Nevada their own. They can be right pushy, but the roads are safer because of them, so I tend to let it go. Not that I got a choice. Well, the wildlife for one thing, rowdy locals for another. They're protecting their own. Just happens to help us. They've been holding off this other group from the east, too. Got a funny name. Call themselves Caesar's Legion. Never seen them in these parts, so I couldn't tell you much. I hear rumors, that's about it. Supposedly, they keep slaves and they got some real nasty ways of killing folks. But maybe that's just something folks in the NCR cooked up to make themselves seem more useful here. Less uninvited. You. Around here, mostly coyotes and geckos. The coyotes are pretty dangerous in large packs, but otherwise they're nothing to really worry about. The geckos aren't too tough, but they've got a nasty bite. I've heard about bigger, nastier versions out in the wasteland, but I've never seen them. Stick to the roads when you can, and steer clear of the hills north of Good Springs. The critters up there are big and poisonous. If you want to know anything else, just ask. Not in Good Springs, no. But if you're up for a little scavenging, there's always the schoolhouse. Most of what's in there is junk, but there's this old safe that even Easy Pete wasn't able to crack with dynamite. If you want to take a shot at it, take these. If the lock's too much for you to handle, reading through the magazine might give you the edge you need. You'll need those to pick the lock. Be careful, though. Put too much pressure on them, and they'll snap. Always happy to help someone down on their luck. Yeah, I guess there's a thing or two I could show you. Sounds like you need all the help you can get after what they done to you. Meet me outside, behind the saloon. She hitting on me? Yeah. Now, 
See the sarsaparilla bottles on the fence there? Take this and try to hit a couple of them. Sweet. Free go. That's the right idea. Look down the sight. Try crouching down and staying still. Nice shot. Well, that's a start. But I don't reckon you came to me to learn to fight sarsaparilla bottles. Tell you what. I gotta go chase geckos away from our water supply anyway. Darn critters are attracted to it. Why don't you come along? Follow me. It's just down to the southeast a short ways. That's one thing that I kind of do compulsively is I always reload sort of right after an encounter. And I think that just comes from real world shooting experience and playing airsoft. You always want to keep your mags full. Since we're just walking and talking, just give you one of my pet peeves. It's what people call gun magazines clips. Most modern weapons don't use clips. Uh, it's just slang, but you know, technically speaking, it is incorrect. So, if you want to seem like you know what you're doing with a firearm, refer to them as magazines or mags. Hear that up on the ridge behind me there? We got some geckos that clear out. Bunch of little monsters is what they are. Seems like Doc Mitchell treats more gecko bites than anything else. Let's see if we can get a little closer. If we move quietly, we can get the jump on them. More likely to hit something vital that way. Oh, wait a minute. I think I, uh... Yeah, I went ahead and took the... Okay, you're on. Go give him hell. the hang of it. There's two more wells that still need clearing. You want, you can come along. It'd be worth a few caps to me. Well, I could use some caps. Shouldn't take more than a couple minutes, especially with two of us. Come with me.
Ah, oh, hell's bells. There's not a day passes by I don't tell people not to come here by themselves. Some people, your word just isn't good enough for them. Then this happens. Well, it's a part of life out here. Best to accept it. But you did what you promised. Staying out here with me. Here's my end of the deal. One more thing I wanted to show you. Thought I might teach you about living off the land and making useful things for yourself. Interested? Yeah, why not? All right, then. We'll need a couple ingredients to get started. Gonna want some Xander root and a Brock flower. Let me think now. I know I've seen Brock flowers growing up at the graveyard, and I seem to remember there being Xander root over by the schoolhouse. Bring those on back to me, and we'll get cooking. like this lady got eaten up by lizards. Alright, well, next episode we go looking for some wasteland groceries. Fruits and vegetables and herbs and spices and see what we won't be able to cook up. So, see you in the next one.